this video, we're going to very quickly run through some of the generative AI tools that are built within Luminar Neo. Now, before I get started, I do want to highlight or just be clear that I was provided a copy of this program from Skylum to be able to do this review. That said, they have no input into the video itself. They see at the same time as everyone else. And if there are any flaws, I certainly will highlight them. But I want to basically cover three of the generative AI tools. They are GenArrays, GenSwap, and GenExpand. So we'll start off with GenArrays, which does exactly what it suggests it does. It's basically a tool to remove parts of the photo. So maybe if you've got something in the photo you don't want, in this case, I've got a person, uh, I can basically just erase that person and it will use AI to try and analyze the photo and look around it to actually then work out how to replace it. Now, in this photo, it's probably entirely overkill. I could clone and mask or, or something similar, but it does use AI to analyze it and it will then subsequently remove that person from the photo. So you can see it's done a pretty good job, but what if I wanted to remove something else? Uh, maybe I don't like this river down the side, so I could just highlight that I'm doing a pretty rough job and then I could erase that and what it's doing is it's analyzing the photo as I said and trying to work out what is it actually trying to erase and then what should it actually replace that with as the tip suggests you tend to do better erasing one thin at a time rather than doing lots of different thins so, you know, it's, it's one of those sins. So it's done a pretty good job of it. It's picked up some shadow and other bits and pieces and it's, it's removed that. So that's really the generase, which is, as I said, really about removing thins from the photo itself. Uh, maybe there's a, a foot in the photo you don't want or something else, you can use it to actually erase that. GenSwap is a little bit different. So GenSwap is really about uh, switching things out on the photo or replacing things. So maybe I really want a tent on the side of this sand dune. So using GenArrays, what I could do is I could select an area and I could type in a tent on the side of the sand dune, which is lit up from inside. And now if I hit enter, it's basically going to use AI to try and create that. Now you want a, a detailed prompt if you can. So it's going to uh, lead to much better results if you can put more detail in it. Now in this case, I've just said a tent that's lit up and you can see look, it hasn't done a terrible job. Now is that the tent I would have picked? Probably not. Um, but you know, it's a tent on the side of the sand dune. Now, maybe I want to replace something else. You know, maybe I want to change the sand dune for something else, or maybe I want to put something else here. And I could say a car, a car on the sand dune and do the same sort of thing. So, you know, this gen swap is really about switching things out in the photo, but using generative AI to actually help you achieve that. Is it perfect? No, not at all. But, you know, I think it does create a really good starting point. If there are things that you don't like, you just do it again. Now, in this case, what it's actually done is because I still had the selection from the tent, I should have reset or deselected that and then put it in beside it. I didn't do that, so it's just replaced it. Now that's okay. Um, I'm fine with that. As I said, this was just an example to show you, you know, what you can actually do. Now I'm going to reset the selection. I'm going to cancel this one and we're going to look at Gen Expand. So Gen Expand is very different to the others. Gen Arrays was obviously about removing things. Uh, Gen Swap was about switching things within the photo. Gen Expand is about making the photo bigger. So let's say there was a little bit each side that you missed. What you can do is you can say, uh, I'm going to expand it a little bit and then click on Expand. 
Now I'm not putting a prompt in there. I'm just expanding it and then clicking on expand to see what it actually does. Now, what they suggest you do with this is do it bit by bit. So if you try and expand every corner all at once, it's probably not going to work as well. But if you expand one side at a time, and then the next side and the next side, it will work better. And what it's actually doing is it's analyzing the scene and it's trying to work out, oh, okay, well, what would have been there? So in this case, it's, it has predicted that there might be some grass and the sand dune continues and so does the river. So it doesn't, it hasn't done a terrible job, but you can see when you look at it that it does create some artifacts like this thing up the top. I'm not sure why it's created that. And it does look a little bit noisy as well, especially when you look in the river. Now I'm going to pick another photo, which is a little bit different. And I'm going to have a look at that to see what that looks like. So in this case, and this is a good example of where this gen expand is useful. I've got a photo of a sulfur crested cockatoo, but I've cut off the top of it. And it, you know, it might have been a nice portrait with the exception of cutting that off. So what I can do is I can use gen expand and I can actually use that to try and expand the top of the image. So I'm going to drag it up to, let's say about there, and I'm going to click on expand. And same thing, it's going to analyze this photo. It's going to try and work out what it is, how it should be extended, and then it will do that. Now, this is a pretty straightforward photo, so it shouldn't have too much trouble trying to extend the top of its head. Let's see what that actually looks like. And this is where this gen expand is quite useful is when you've got things that have been cut off. So maybe someone's foot's been cut off or something like that. So you can see it has expanded this pretty well, but you can see it really doesn't understand the background blur. And because it doesn't actually understand the background blur, it's quite noisy. So the suggestion that I would always give with these is that, you know, don't take this as your final photo. So, you know, if I were to finish this as is, it doesn't look natural. It doesn't look good. It's going to need a little bit more work. And look, this is fixable. What I would suggest is that, you know, we want to try and replicate that blur a little bit. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to go down to blur. I'm going to increase, I'll put some mask in on first and we'll just brush in this section here. So I'm just brushing it in. Now I'm doing a very rough job of this just to show you. Obviously the more you're careful around the edges, the better it will mask. Now I haven't done a particularly good job of that. Uh, maybe I just want to erase a little bit around here. So really what we're doing now is we're just masking where we want that blur to apply because in this case, we don't actually want the blur across the whole photo. We just want it at that top section. And I'll pick um, this one and let's just bring it up. And you can see already it has made a difference. Now it still needs a bit of work around the edges of that photo, but you can see I was able to, you know, more or less fix that pretty quickly. There are different types of blurs, so you've got to find the one that works best for you. And as I said, it's going to need a lot more work than that, but it does give you an idea that, hey, okay, maybe we can match that. Now, is it going to have a different result if it's not blurred in the background? Quite possibly. So it's really a case of trying out with your photos to see which one works best for you. So that was a very quick run through of Generays which as I said, is really about just erasing things from the photos. Gen swap, which is about switching or adding things into the photo. And gen expand, which is about expanding the photo. Maybe you cut off a certain part, you want it to be wider, uh, taller, that sort of thing. Uh, as always, if you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments.
nothing, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Yeah, I put out all the heart, it's my only medicine. Yeah, everything I do, I'm just being genuine. Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline. Yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in. That 